Thought I might include you. I got way too much going on. I've been cooking non-stop ever since I got this electric smoker. And here it is Thanksgiving Day. And I got this butt that I've got to throw in there because it's been sitting in the fridge. I'm pretty sure it's still good. For uh, a few days. A couple days anyway. I'm supposed to use or freeze by yesterday. I'm sure one day I'll be alright. Just cutting this big old honking piece of fat layer off. I think I trimmed the excess that's, that I needed to everywhere else. Getting a little greasy now. I wonder how close this is to the lard or the fat back or whatever it was that I used to see on my grandma's counter. I mean, not my grandma, my my wife's mother. That's what I mean to say. All right, it's got a little meat on it, but. Now I didn't trim any of this on my brisket piece that I smoked the other day because I didn't smoke a whole brisket it was already cut so most of the fat was it was a slab of brisket not a, a cut of brisket so it's pretty well pretty well cut off I'm sure I want to leave some fat on there it's gonna be a 15 hour cook fat side up. I don't know. Hope that's good enough. I'm about, I'm about done messing with it. I hadn't even started my turkey yet. That's 11.23. <laughs> Be another long day. Hell, I hadn't even. I gotta finish cleaning the smoking parts. They're soaking in the sink. So I'm gonna trim this, rub it up. And, uh,. Trim this, rub it up, go clean up the smoker and the smoker parts. Get that heating up, get the chips soaking. Get my turkey doing. By the time the turkey's prepped, this ought to be ready to go in. So we got just a few tablespoons of yellow mustard here. Might need a little more. I don't, think, I don't think we need any on the fat, really, but. Better safe than sorry. I don't know, I've never done a pork butt before. The last time I made a whole cut of brisket, I turned about half a bit, 
into pulled pork and uh, thought it was delicious. I got a little bit of sweet rub, a little bit of apple wood, and I don't think that's going to be enough of that either. Maybe. I'll get a little more here. That's about a little more than a fourth of a cup. Yeah, we're going to need a little more. Get one of my gloves off here. And I just generally press it into the meat. I don't rub it. It seems to waste it. It's called a rub. You don't really rub. I think the I think the thinking might used to have been that, you know, you're I, I've been told before, it's always like you're giving the meat a massage. You're going to rub it in there like you're giving the meat a massage. I think maybe the thinking being that you're somehow tenderizing the meat. We're not tenderizing that meat. That goddamn, that little slow cook time is what's tenderizing the meat. Okay, so that's good to go. Let's see if we can't get that in a pan. did drop this I was cutting it open on my freaking on my sink grate here so I totally dropped it and then rinsed it off real good with uh, with cold water for a few minutes but it totally dropped in the in the in the Dawn soapy sink water so it's gonna be a little bit extra seasoned so yay for that all right we'll set that off the side clean this up get our turkey ready okay we got our wood chips soaking over yonder. We got our turkey here, and we're about to work on that. But first, I'm going to go ahead and spray my grill down before I turn it on. I'm making an effort. cover up that burner this time so now when I spray I don't have to worry about wiping it off so we'll just give her a quick everything's been cleaning up pretty nicely when I've been doing that go ahead and lock that box Crank this up, let it start warming up. I got it sitting under the carport. Carport, sitting in the carport, whatever. My 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 store all. I got it sitting under my store all. On a counter, we're supposed to get some rain around midnight tonight, which is about 12 hours away. And this is gonna be a 15 hour cook probably. So she should be good under there. In the meantime. Away in a manger, two kittens in hay. Laying, staying warm on a chilly fall day. I was going to say a cold winter's day, which would have rhymed better, but it's not technically winter. It's not really that cold. 
so yeah they're really liking my new uh my new lawn sweeper and they're really loving that i left some grass in it sacrilege <laughs>